Hello and welcome to today's LOL Esports Roundup. We're going to cover the news of the last week. I missed the Kwangdong Freak moves. I thought those were not um, starters, but I think that more and more that they might be the starters. So we're going to go over that. Um, OMG and then Nuguri's retirement. So Kwangdong Freaks uh, last week would sign two substitutes from DRX and Gen G respectively and apparently are going to start them. So Taeyoon joins at 80 carry to replace Teddy, 2.43 KDA, 972 CS per minute, 59.5 KP in summer 2021 with DRX. Currently only 20 years old, so it's 19 at the time. I do not want to, um, you know, write this player off because I wrote Prince off going into the last year after he took a split off and really wasn't relevant for a little while. So um, I'm not going to write Taeyun off. He was sitting behind Def last year. He played one game in 2022 at all, and uh, it was bad. And it kind of makes me curious, um, was that best for his development? Like, it's good that he's maybe scrimming, but is he, how many scrims is he really playing? Um, you know, he's not playing any stage games. So I feel like that hurts players. So it's really kind of weird how um, they have a substitute that, I mean, they don't just call up a player from their challenger roster when they need to. Instead, carrying a substitute that, um, you know, isn't getting any action whatsoever. 25-3, uh, kill share, 23-8, gold share, eight champions of 24 games. So the stat line, I mean, 9-7-2 at the LCK level, solid. That's above 9.5 against some of the best bot laners in the world. So definitely stood his ground, 59-5. KP is extremely low. I mean, just over one out of every two kills he's involved in, but he does claim one out of every four. I mean, that's not carry numbers in terms of the kill share, but because he's farming well enough, he makes up for it getting 24% of gold. Obviously, this was a year ago, a different meta, a different time. Young J from Gen G in the jungle joins 205 KDA, 529 CS per minute, 60 KP in five games. In the LCK this past year, um, Peanut, I think, had COVID. Gen G had COVID for a little while, go through their team. And Young J had to play. Um, those five games weren't great. I looked at 2021, played a lot of um, challenger games. So this is the top level of play that Young J has played at is, is these games. 19 years old um, last year. So I guess 20 years old playing these games. So being 19 is irrelevant. But both are very young players. But the same thing kind of remains. Was it best for this player's development not to play stage games last year? And what do the freaks see in a player like Young J, who has really no LCK experience outside of this handful of games, where Taeyun at least had a split, um, you know, half a split or so, 24 games to look at. Um, 50, uh, sorry, 60 KP is pretty low. But only five games, it's really hard to judge off of that. 529 is below where you want to be as well. But given that Gen G were probably going through COVID at the time Young J played, it is understandable that they may have struggled at the time. 12 3 kill share, 17 3 gold share, 4 champions in five games. Um, OMG, no name leaves the coach. Um, so the last two years they've been the coach. OMG have been a, unable to do anything of real value coming into 2022 omg was a hot team that a lot of people were high on i was high on um and they faltered they won the first couple games in spring and then lost the rest of the way pretty much and um then in summer did meh right and with cream one of the up and coming mid laners everyone was hyped about really cream got taken over by shanji who really showed up in a big way in top lane playing a lot of weird stuff and um, becoming one of the t top names in that in that role in the world. Like, Shanji really, really put his name out there. Um, overall, no name is 26 and 38 as OMG's coach. Overall, in his career, he has 27, 52, and 1 as a coach. So he coached in like 2015, took five years off, and then came back in 2020. Um, Bobo, I assume right now is the coach. Uh, he was the assistant under no name the last two years. So the same record remains no other coaching experience to look at. So where OMG sits right now is, you know, 
I don't know if it's going to be the same place or not, depending on how the coaching situation goes. It depends how OMG goes in general. Obviously, we see that um, there are a lot of rumors that they're willing to sell Sean G off or Kareem. Um, Aki, I think, is still under contract, but Abel and Cold are both free agents. So we'll see what OMG does in the bot lane and if they sell off their you know best parts. Dom Juan Kia, I figured I'd put a team name down. I guess I could have done Dom Juan Kia and FPX. But Nuguri retired today at 23 years old, took spring off, came back in summer, struggled at times in at Worlds. We went over this um, a few days ago. Uh, I think that was when they um, allowed Nuguri to go. I, I, I talked about it. Um, retired, though, 23 years old, only 23. Sounds content with this situation. Um there are people that, I mean, there are rumors that he has some, you know, you know, off the rift issues maybe that are, you know, like maybe just his mental isn't in the best place. Um, but those are rumors nonetheless. Uh, maybe it's, it's, uh, it's best for him that he does walk away from the game. Maybe he gets another love for the game. If he takes a full year off, even a year and a half off, still only 23 years old. There is, um, and one of the better top laners in the world at his peak, um, still in his prime, he could come back in a year and a half and still be a solid top laner that is, you know, quality in, in the major region. So I'm not going to say that, I mean, I, I would argue it's probably flipping a coin on whether hit this retirement sticks or not. Um, world's 2020 champion has went to world's last four years, obviously. With Dom Juan Kia and uh, FPX, the FPX team, of course, really faltering um, with him on the team. But um, 2020, they won with Dom Juan Kia. This past year, not quite what they had hoped for with DK. But nevertheless, um, four straight appearances. Over his career, he has a 63% win rate, according to Leaguepedia. That does include um, CK stats, so challenger stats. So keep that in mind. Um that is not only his um, pro level stats. I kind of wish that they were separated. Um, but what are you going to do? Um, now, as far as uh, champion of note, Camille. Camille is definitely his best champion. Um, people might think it's the Jace, which was his most played. But his highest win rate champion was Camille, going 32-6 and six over his career. That includes all games, whether it's Challengers, LCK, Worlds, um, LPL. 32 and um, 6, sorry, not 32 and 8, 32 and 6 for an 84% win rate, which is disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Nuguri, well known for his Camille. That is definitely the champion of note when we think of him. Um, you know, his past, like I said, Worlds wasn't quite what we had hoped for. But Nuguri, um, you know, was kind of, uh, you know, uh, how do I put it? I mean, he probably wasn't respected all that much by the coaching staff, the way he was pulled in the playoffs multiple times and um, put in, Bird all being put in. I mean, that was really kind of sus at the time. Maybe these mental health issues or something were going on then, and that's why the coaching staff was pulling him. I have no idea. Maybe those caused it. Just speculation. Um, nevertheless, though, he has retired officially today. Um, so that's a thing. Speaking of top laners, um, this is going to segue into the outro. Tomorrow's video, I'm, I looked at the uh, most common matchup from Season 12, which was Nar versus Gwen. Um, it's 100 matchups, and I'm going to do a video on the um, most interesting little things I found in those 100 matchups. So if you would like to watch that, that'll be the video tomorrow. Unless there's a big news in, in, in I do a roundup, but I, I doubt there will be plenty of news coming out the next day, given that we have... A trickle of news the last week so there will be an in-depth little analytical video tomorrow if you want to watch that subscribe so you are notified when that happens like the video if you liked it share it if you really liked it and want other people to watch my content um, follow me on Twitter join the discord become a YouTube member and thank you for watching